today we use more than 70% of our water towards food production. And agriculture is really intertwined with the climate crisis. In irrigated agriculture, we use a lot of energy to provide water. So if we're able to reduce water use, we not only save water, but we're also reducing energy needs. UBC is really the space where we test uh, and develop and improve the methods, the protocols, the technologies that researchers are uh, working on uh, at UBC. And once we have tested them and we are sure that they work well, uh, we, we can provide that kind of information and that kind of technology to farmers. So I was really interested in generating more data to understand eco-hydrology and agricultural systems. So that's how does water move through soils, how, does, how do plants access that water under different soil and water management strategies. The data is collected in these autonomous nodes that um, they have battery and a solar panel so they can run 24 hours a day for an unlimited period of time and they're pushing their data out. The number of devices in the Internet of Things is exploding and working at UBC Farm across the cluster is allowing us to really stay at the forefront of integrating IoT or Internet of Things approaches into a diverse range of uh, fields of study. Mark Johnson is really working uh, to uh, develop open source and low cost technologies that farmers can really implement uh, once we know they work well uh, and once they are tuned. Uh, farmers are really going to um, benefit from that because uh, these kind of technologies are not available in the market right now um, and I think those are the, the needs that farmers have, especially small and mid-sized farmers. I think about the biodiversity uh, monitoring program, what is great is like biodiversity and agricultural production are two fields that are normally treated in quite isolated ways, uh, so they don't normally, uh, there are not many people working with those together. So this program is going to allow us to find uh, those relationships. So in agricultural systems, it seems that we often focus on the end goal being food production, but there are um, a lot of different processes that contribute to crop productivity and food production, such as nutrient cycling and pollination. Um, and there's a multitude of different species that contribute to those processes. So I think it's important to monitor biodiversity over the long term so that we have a better understanding of what species are occurring on farm and how they're um, contributing to food production. So the cluster funding has allowed us uh, to start uh, setting up uh, a groundbreaking uh, long-term agroecological uh, research station uh, and that's completely going to be a game changer because it's going to allow us to explore uh, long-term um, impacts of climate change in agriculture uh, for the first time in Canada. Music